there's really only one food we talk about regularly on Weather World, and that's spaghetti. At least once a week on Fridays in our 12 Day Trends segment. Today I'd like to talk about that spaghetti, formerly known as ensemble forecasting, where the word ensemble has its traditional meaning, group or set. The basic premise of ensemble forecasting is that numerical weather prediction, using computers to forecast the weather, is inevitably uncertain for two main reasons. First, weather observations are neither perfect nor complete, so the initial conditions, the values we give a model at the start to describe the atmosphere's current state, will always have some error. Second, atmospheric processes and their interactions with the ocean, land, and ice are so complex that they can't be replicated exactly in a computer model. So any model is an approximation, and every single forecast is, to some extent, uncertain. Think of ensemble forecasting this way. Say this point represents the initial state of our model. We run the model, and at some future time, we get a forecast. We'll mark that with an X. This first run of a model is often called the control run. Now, we know the initial condition isn't perfect. We also know the model isn't perfect either. So we change the initial condition by a very small amount, or we change the model by a very small amount, and we run it again. Then we tweak a second time and run it again. We tweak it a third time, run it again. A fourth time, run it again. You get the idea. And then repeat a bunch of other times, producing a group or ensemble of forecasts. If they all end up close to the original forecast, that gives us confidence that the forecast isn't sensitive to the imperfections in the initial conditions or the model. But more often than not, the forecast will be spread out, giving us a sense of the range of solutions and a measure of the uncertainty. Now let me introduce you to four ensemble forecasting systems. The short range ensemble forecasting system, known as the SREF, has 26 members or strands of spaghetti that come from two very similar models that are each tweaked 12 times. This ensemble runs four, day, four times a day out to 87 hours in the future. The other American ensemble system is the GEFS with 21 members, the control run and 20 others with slightly different initial conditions. This is run four times per day all the way out to 16 days. The spaghetti in 12 day trends is from the global ensemble forecast system. Environmental, Environment Canada also has an ensemble prediction system with 21 members. The control run and then they get their spaghetti by tweaking both the initial conditions and the physics of the model. And finally, the European Center's ensemble system has 51 members, all created by making slight changes to the initial conditions. It's run twice a day out to 15 days. We always do the math for you here on Weather World. That's 119 pieces of spaghetti with 93 of those representing forecasts to at least 15 days. And there are other ensemble forecasting systems. Hopefully in a future weather-wise, I'll talk about them and some of the specifics about how the spaghetti is actually made. Stay tuned. Our extended forecast is next.